Birdie. Maggie, please. This has been really, really hard for me. This has been hard for me too. Watching you slowly disappear from my life. Were you ever only friends with me whilst you were waiting to find a boyfriend? No. No, of course not. You've always been my most important person. I don't think we should be that for each other anymore. It isn't healthy. We can't just go on like what we were. We need to grow up and live our own lives. But you don't want that. You just want Nathan's life. You've become a version of Nathan. What? Yeah, you've lost yourself. I don't recognize you anymore. Every CD in your car is Nathan's favorite band. Everything you wear is something that Nathan bought for you. You handed over your entire personality to the first man who asked you out. This is the real me. Whoever you think I am isn't who I want to be. And even if I am like Nathan, so what? It's better than just being a version of you. I, I can't live with you and follow you around and look up to you all so that you feel better about yourself. I never wanted you to be like me. No, but you always wanted me to be one step behind I you. I wanted you to be your own person. Why does it make you so insane when I try and do something for myself? Because I want you to live. Oh, God. Do you think what you're doing is living? Drinking and fucking anything that moves? I mean, Maggie, are you even experiencing any of it? Jesus, are you even alive? Is that what you think of me? Is this you saying you want to move out? Or is this you saying that you don't want to be friends anymore? Birdie. I don't know, I think we just need some space. <laughs> I feel like you're breaking up with me. 